Today in our nation we celebrate a feast that is often understood both in its origins and its purpose, that is Thanksgiving Day, for we know very clearly that the story that comes to us is that it was the Puritans who established this holiday, but yet there is clear historical evidence that this holiday began either in St. St. August, uh, Augustine, Florida, or in the area of El Paso, Texas. At the time, it would have been New Mexico. It is just not understood which one preceded the other. But, all, but both of them were done for the same reason, that the Spanish explorers sat down to give thanks to God for the blessings of this new land that they had discovered because under the influence of the apostolic mission of the church, they came to embrace know and love Jesus Christ and sought always and everywhere to bring his love to all peoples and to all nations. They were not without their faults and failings and often many of them would use it as an advantage, but the primary purpose of most of that activity was to bring the missions and so at both occasions Franciscan priests were with the expeditions and the, the core of the, thanks, the first Thanksgiving days in this nation, the very core of them was centered around the holy sacrifice of the mass. Indeed, the word Eucharist is the Greek word which would best be interpreted in the English as thanksgiving. And so their thanksgiving was rooted in, the, in, in their gratitude towards our Lord establishing that eternal sacrifice by which we may all persevere. And ultimately, this day is an opportunity for every member and for every me member of our nation, for everyone who dwells within this, within this country to reflect upon what truly constitutes a good citizen. And indeed, when we reflect upon that, we reflect upon that truth that we are good citizens of our own nation if we have our mind and heart on that, on that citizenship to come, that is, union with God in heaven. It is only then that we will have the courage to do what is right and good for our nation and indeed to even give up our lives if, it's, if it is necessary as a witness to the purpose that all peoples and all nations are established ultimately to form a form of life by which they give God thanks. And so this day we may pause to give the Lord thanks and most especially to offer all our fellow countrymen to the Lord during the holy sacrifice of the mass. Indeed, the popular story as often one aspect is left out. Squanto, who was the Native American who, represent, who represented the Puritans to the Native American Indians, was once a prisoner of the English, and upon the missionary activity of the church, he was freed by the Franciscan priest who came, and ultimately he was baptized and received into the Catholic Church. So there are very clearly Catholic origins and Catholic roots in this, in, in this day of thanksgiving. And indeed, when it was first promulgated, it was promulgated contrary to popular belief as to separation of church and state and the extreme meaning that his, it has taken. It was promulgated first by George Washington, and when he did so, he said very clearly that it was a day to give thanks to God, a day to enjoy family and to pray to God in thanksgiving for the blessings that he has given this nation and that he would continue to bless it according to his, in, according to his divine dispositions. And so, let us this day truly be thankful and let us always understand that through the missionary activity of the church, Christ comes to, comes to all nations and to all peoples. And indeed, when there is a, a wilderness, that wilderness is ultimately civilized and it becomes most civilized when the presence of Christ is there. Hence the emphasis of the two first Thanksgiving days in this nation on the holy sacrifice of the mass. It was the center of that day and then that day was spent in sort of a family, family environment in which all truly gave thanks 
for the blessings that God had clearly bestowed upon this land and also prayer was offered that this land would be formed into a great nation and a great peoples. And so let us pray that what marks a great nation and a great people is whether or not its citizens are raised for, e for eternal citizenship in the kingdom of heaven rather than for that happiness that this modern world seeks to th seeks to find and so let us truly give thanks to the Lord this day and primarily let us give thanks for we know that the holy sacrifice of the mass is that action of Christ that has delivered us from all sin and ultimately that is the primary reason why all of us truly must be thankful for God in his sacrifice has cleansed us of our sins all, all that is needed is that we cooperate with that which he has done for us. And so let us strive always to remain in the Catholic faith. Let us strive always to remain faithful to Jesus Christ. And let us especially strive always to make every day a thanksgiving when we present ourselves and our weaknesses and all of our nations and all the nations of the world to the Lord present them to the Lord so that he may bring all to an understanding, a greater and greater understanding of the depth of his love. When we were all at enmity, enmity with him, he did not hesitate to offer his life for us. Indeed, we can look at it as a sort of thanksgiving that he offered to the Father, that he, that, that he offered himself in order that the Father may again look, look, upon, look kindly upon those citizens of this world who had distanced themselves from him by falling into sin and had no hope of reconciliation unless first the Son offered himself for our sake so that we then could offer ourselves for his sake. And so let us strive always to offer ourselves in a sort of thanksgiving to the Lord for all that he has done and most especially that he may bless this nation, especially by ridding it of the primary sins that it is that it that it is involved in in this life. That is, the sins of abortion, the sins of usury, and all those sins that militate against the family order that God has established. That family order, which alone can bring thanksgiving to a nation, because it recognizes that a good citizen of any nation is a man and a woman and a child who who have their mind and their heart set on the kingdom to come and hence they are willing to truly sacrifice for the common good that is the good of their nation and they are willing to have as Pope St. Pius X pointed out willing to have the courage to stand up and tell its nation that it is wrong when it truly has chosen the wrong course. He said that is truly the virtue of one aspect of the virtue of patriotism, that a citizen loves its nation so much that he is willing to tell that nation as far as he can that it has chosen the wrong course and it must get back to the root of all true all that is truly human, that is the holy sacrifice of the mass and the mission of Christ extended to the end of the time so that as in today's gospel that passage would be would be fulfilled that is until the times of the Gentiles are fulfilled and then the Lord will turn earnestly to the chosen people so that all nations and all peoples will have that opportunity to recognize the time of their visitation embrace the Lord and then seek to establish a society and a culture that is constantly giving God thanks for all that he has done for us in this life in order that we may be with him forever in the life to come. Um...